Innovation Campus, a not-for-profit research and technology development center, is celebrating its initial construction phase, which includes the final demolitions and the beginning construction of four new or renovated buildings. But for one Lincoln couple, the celebration is a reminder of what was taken away from them the Nebraska State Fair. Well, to me, it specifically means where we started. It's Jeff Freeman met his wife, Letty, at the Nebraska State Fair in 1984. With four children and 25 years of marriage under their belt, they're sad to see a piece of Lincoln history go. It's sad because, like I said, there's just so many memories that we hold of the State Fair. The fair set at State Fair Park in Lincoln was more than a yearly event or a piece of land to the Freemans. It's how their family began. And I think it means a lot that, you know, although it was lame for our kids to have to go there, we were able to take them back and say, this is where mommy and daddy met. It was tough to see us, uh, to, to leave it. Executive Director of the Nebraska State Fair, Joseph McDermott, says he too was sad to see the fair move to Grand Island after 109 years in Lincoln. Now that we're here and settled and things have gone so well, we're, we're obviously very pleased with our situation. And I know the university is looking at making some improvements to the property. Innovation Campus Executive Director Dan Duncan is spearheading those improvements. He says once construction is more visible, people will see how the research park will affect them. When we're able to bring in uh, and create a lot of really good jobs on Innovation Campus, really good opportunities for students, generate more research income for the university, I think people will really see the benefit of that. Although Innovation Campus is replacing a Lincoln tradition, Freeman says he understands why the development had to take place. We hated to see it go, but as a businessman, I understand progress, I understand innovation, I understand you know, research, and it had to happen. For NewsNet Nebraska, I'm Emily Younger. Innovation Campus Executive Director Dan Duncan is spearing those improvements. He says once construction is more visible, people will finally see how the research park will affect them. 